Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the creative process of me making this needle book. Now if you've never heard of a needle book before, I encourage you to go over to Instagram and hashtag needle book. They are so cute. There are so many beautiful designs, but basically they're just a little book that you make to house your pins and needles and thread and clips and things that you would use for mending or hand sewing. So basically you can just, you know, design it however you like. So I'm just going to show you how I made mine. Now I will have my measurements over at the blog post but you don't necessarily have to have exact measurements. You can just make this however large you want. If you want to make it for traveling or if you want to just have it next to you, your, you know, your chair when you go to do your handiwork. Um, so you can make it any size you like. I will be showing you how to do um, this quilting technique, which I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm just gonna show you guys. Basically I have a base fabric and then it's sort of like paper piecing, but with just fabric. So I'm gonna sew on my first strip, which I'm only using one inch strips. And I'm going to put that with the right sides facing down onto my base fabric. I'm just using muslin because you're not gonna see it. And then I'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance from one side of this strip. And then I'm going to flip the strip and then I will do a top stitch over top. Now you can do a top stitch right over that seam or you can just do a, another row of stitches a quarter of an inch away from that edge. So you can do as many as you like, it's just however you want your quilted finish item to look. So then I'm gonna take my next piece and then I'm gonna place that with the right sides down lining up the raw edge with the raw edge of that first strip doing another quarter of an inch seam allowance and then flipping that piece. So basically I'm just gonna keep adding strips with the right sides down and then flipping them and just go until I have the size that I want. Um, I'm actually going to take this piece and then cut it to the size that I want for my needle book. So I'm just making a larger size and then I'm just gonna you know, uh, take what, whatever I need basically. So these are all scraps, so it's a great um, idea for scrap busting. And yeah, I just went into my you know, little basket of scraps and picked fabrics that were sort of in the same tonal range and then just cut them into one inch strips. So after that, then I just decided that I was going to make the cover a little different. So I took some of my flamingo fabric and I put a gray piece over it and then for the binding as you would want to call it for the book I used a piece that was one and a half inches wide and so now I'm just going to put it all together I think my finish measurement for the book when it's laying flat was six inches by I'm gonna say like maybe eight inches I don't know, I'll, I'll have that all at the blog post though. <laughs> so then I just took another plain piece of fabric and I'm gonna put those with the right sides together and then sew all the way around. I did put a little piece of elastic on the one side and that's gonna act as my closure. I'm gonna sew a button onto it later. So I'm just gonna leave a three or four inch gap, maybe a little less, probably about three inch gap, just so that I can turn it right sides out. So I just took a little piece of elastic and just placed that onto one of the sides. And you're gonna wanna sew over that little piece of elastic a bunch of times just to make sure that it stays in place and you don't accidentally pull it out. And then after that, you're going to create your pages. So you can make this as large or as small as you want. If you just want one piece or two little pages or three or four, it just depends. You might have decorative pins and buttons and, and things. You can really have fun with this. Um, so I just took one piece of felt, which felt is a good fabric just because 
um, when you put the pins in it it's you know and you go to take your pins out it doesn't show so it can stay intact longer so I'm just turning it right sides out and then I poked out all my corners and I'm going to do a top stitch all the way around the edge so I just took a piece of felt that measured about an inch or a half inch smaller on all four sides than the finished book and then I'm just going to do a seam right down the center of the binding to secure that into place and then that'll be my little pages so as you can see I have two pages so I'm just gonna quickly sew on the button on the outside and then that will be my little closure which is so cute this is a vintage button I think yeah I got it from my grandmother's stash it's so cute and then you can just decide what you want to put in it. So if you want to add a little piece of elastic so that your thread can fit in it, or I decided to add two pieces of um, ribbon to the felt, and then I can put my little clips on there. And then I just sewed in a few buttons. And yeah, you just put your pins right in it. I just clipped my little clips on there and I didn't put a place for thread but you could totally do that like I said I definitely encourage you to go onto Instagram and Pinterest and just check out these little um, needle books because they are so cute they're such an adorable little gift they're great for mending or if you just like to you know do handwork in front of the TV and things like that so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it gave you some ideas and if you do decide to make a needle book I would love to see it so definitely um, follow over at the Facebook group which is charmed by Ashley and you know post your pictures we have a discussion group as well which is great for sharing and you know sharing tips and tricks and things like that all those links like I said are down below and the blog post will be also there so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys